everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today it's uh, Friday, the 24th of March, and I'm gonna give you my verdict on the spreader bale, which we've had all week, and I've finally uh, gotten to grips with it. And then we've got next to that, the Teagle, the Telehawk, which we've been getting to grips with as well. Funnily enough, they weren't supposed to come on demo at the same time, and, but that's what ended up happening. And it's been quite good really, because it's enabled us to really put them against each other and, and see which one we prefer for our farm. And really, we'll start off with the spreader bale. The spreader bale is a much more, uh, let's say, simple design. It's a little bit, it reminds me a lot of a muck spreader. Um, the way it's been designed, you've got the conveyor belt system, and then you've got these beaters here, a bit like on a muck spreader. Um, and it works by the belt going forwards, going through the rotors, and then spreading the bale. The issue some people have, and it has been mentioned, uh, with the stones, stones can fling, fling back and smash your Manatee windscreen. Um, however, if you look here, spreader bale has addressed that issue with a guard and you can now get a bigger guard one thing which has really struck me by the spreader bale is the size of it it's really heavy very well made and as a lot of you guys have commented it is built to last it's a solid unit and the galvanized frame on it i would say is a really good idea because it's going to prevent it from rusting picking it up from the rear and the side is really really good i have found myself using it more on the front when i've been bedding cattle down i kind of go into an alleyway and then reverse out that works really really well um the bed speed you can control on a valve at the other end it is very simple just the dial there and then the beta speed you can really control with the revs on your machine you can see it's got a gold medal there from the royal show um you know you could have one of these and it would probably last years and years and years super simple very basic good for big open areas um if that's what you like and also made in the uk which is really really good both of them actually are made in the uk and it's nice to be buying something hopefully um which is built in this country um obviously french telehandler john deere tractor american um we are finally getting some british stuff in and this being the mini version i didn't find it to be as mini as i was expecting and i think they do make an even smaller one than this and it's called the micro and then the trouble is you won't be able to get your round bales in so it is although it's a mini it's still quite big both of them are quite big machines actually um however i did feel this was a lot heavier on the front of the boom on the manatee a lot of overhang a lot of weight because a lot of the weight is distributed so that the manatee was rocking sort of side to side like that from front to bend um and i suppose you could you could argue you counteract that with a bigger teleporter um now that's just what i found and you know both of these machines are great both of them have their pros and cons um, and i would say the pros of this are it's simple reliable you can get it in big open sheds it's, it's really easy to maintain really easy to look after as a lot of you guys have said it's something which you could buy and it would last a long long time so it just depends what you want i've seen people putting fodder beet through these you can spread horse muck through these you can spread sugar beet fodder beet um, which is quite funny um, so yeah really gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of options there one of the issues for our farm has been being able to get it around our smaller sheds and sometimes you need the accuracy and i just haven't felt that i've been able to get the accuracy out of the spreader bale and the reach the, the targeted reach um, which i've needed for some sheds so that's i guess one for us for our farm that was one downside um, however the plus sides are it's really well made solid and will last a long long time and then moving on from the spreader bale onto the teagle it reminds us a lot of the straw chop we used to have back in the day from a long long time ago i'll be honest i was thinking the construction wouldn't be as heavy or as good as a spreader bale because it's a galvanized frame really heavy solid but it is really solid really thick steel um really well made absolutely solid and yeah like i say much stronger than what i was expecting it to be and teagle you know they've been in the bedding game for a long long time they know what they're doing you can get also get the tomahawk which goes on the back of a tractor i know some of you guys have been talking about a tomahawk um however i feel as though the road we're going down this would be the one for us especially for bedding down and for hopefully working it in with the new shed you can see it's got the floor there that's what pulls in the straw you see our combine driver from last year <laughs> there's a lot of barley in there We'll just change contractors. We'll see if the new combine makes a difference. Um, this has got the knives on it, for anyone who, did, who didn't know. You can get rippers. Knives like this will chop the straw. The rippers will just pull it apart, and then you'll get long straw. So I'm going to be really interested to see if we change to the rippers what sort of a difference they make. Um, and it's got a flywheel in there, and that's what churns the straw out. That's what chucks it out the chute as it works its way out the spout, which is then how you get that controllability with the telehawk. So I've left the 
door down because I can load it up, self-load it, or I can load a bale on the side. It's slightly lighter, the Telehawk, I've noticed. Although it looks bigger, it doesn't weigh as much on the Manatee, um, and it floats really well. So it's very difficult, actually, to choose between them. Um, which one would you have? Leave it in the comments section down below. This has literally been keeping me up awake all night this week um, because they are both really good for different reasons. Um, but I do have to make a decision, and one of them will be going, and one of them will hopefully be staying. And it's a big decision because it's something which will affect the future of this farm for a long long time hopefully positively <laughs> and it ties in with something else as well which... it sort of ties in with the new shed really and we've got to do something with the farm especially with the aberdeen angus calves we've got we'd like to fatten them keep growing them keep growing the herd we bought another 20 heifers last year we're working our way up towards 120 suck the cows we'd love to get 150 maybe 200 in the next couple of years because we've got the land for it we've got the arable here to grow the food to feed them this is really going to make a difference we just now need the infrastructure which is the new shed um, to match one of these machines really both of these machines will cost the farm a lot of money um, and it, it's a bit you know it's a big investment for the farm and for what you know we'll get out of them they will hopefully be worth the investment but we need to upgrade our buildings in order to get the most out of these machines we have got some quite small sort of narrow old school sheds which have been around for a long long time and we are on a waiting list um, from the same builder who built Clarkson's farms uh, Jeremy Clarkson's new shed so we're going to be waiting a little while until we can get our new shed up but once we do I think we'll be able to reap the benefits of either the, either the telehawk or of course the spread of well. um, but it's kind of designing the shed which will fit either one of these it's just an open-aired multi-purpose shed which we're currently working with an architect to design um, and once we get that then it will hopefully work a little bit better for what we want to do with these so i hope you've enjoyed seeing the spreader bay on the telehawk this last week i've really enjoyed trying them both out i'll let you know my verdict over the weekend they're both very good machines but they they do things differently so i can't say either one you go for they're both really really good machines and it's, they're both built in britain so with that let me know in the comments which one you'd like to see in the farm and uh, catch you on the next one click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another ollie's farm video Mm-hmm.